Welcome to our lecture online. Now that we know what a complex conjugate is and how to deal with complex conjugates, we're ready to divide one complex number by another. And the trick is that we're going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the complex conjugate of the denominator. So it looks like it follows. So in the denominator we get 1 minus 5i, in the numerator we get 1 minus 5i. Notice that this fraction is equal to 1, and of course multiplying anything times 1 changes nothing. Also notice that when we multiply the denominators together, we will get a real number in the denominator, which is the purpose for doing this. So in the denominator, we end up with the first number squared and plus the coefficient of the last number squared. So notice we get a real number in the denominator. In the numerator, we're going to have to multiply the 4 times the 1 and the 4 times the negative 5i. So we get 4 minus 20i. And then we have to multiply the minus 3i times 1 and the minus 3i times the negative 15 and the negative 5i. So it begins minus 3i and minus times the minus is plus 15i squared. And now all we have to do is simplify both the numerator and the denominator. So this becomes 4 minus 23i. And notice i squared is a negative 1, so it becomes minus 15 divided by 1 plus 25, which is 26. And then we can combine the 4 and the minus 15. So this is equal to 4 minus 15, which is minus 11, minus 23i divided by 26. And typically we write, like to write it as a real and imaginary part. So this becomes equal to minus 11 over 26 and minus 23 over 26i. And notice that this, of course, is a complex number because we have a real part and an imaginary part. And that is how it's done.